chairman of the Vanderbilt Group, passed away three days ago. The heiress of the group, Emma, urgently convened a shareholders meeting. Hey. I'm sorry about tonight. I should, uh, reintroduce myself. I'm Liam. What are you doing here? Well, you've had a fever since we've gotten back. And you're still burning. I don't need a bodyguard. Emma. Miss Vanderbilt. Miss Vanderbilt. I'm afraid you don't really have a choice. Your father hired me to be your bodyguard as you regain your vision. And I'm just supposed to believe you because of that tape? Please. Good morning, Miss Vanderbilt. I told you yesterday I don't need a bodyguard. You know your situation more than I do, Miss Vanderbilt. I think you should at least let me protect you until you gain your sight back. Vanderbilt, you want to you have one? Sure. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Miss Vanderbilt. I'm going to throw my jacket around you, okay? Slow down. Liam, do you think there's anybody around me I can trust? What makes you say that? After my dad died, Uncle Ethan kidnapped me for my shares. Mm. And Evelyn, you know, she married dad six months ago, but her attitude about his death has just been really hard to put into words. What about Daniel? What about Daniel? Well, it seems like you can't trust anybody in your life, but what about him? Daniel cares about me. He wouldn't do anything to hurt me. Miss Vanderbilt, have you ever questioned Daniel? Or are you just avoiding that thought? Daniel saved my life. I wouldn't be here without him. Are you so sure that he's the one who saved you? I saw it. To save me, he got a long cut on his chest, and when I met Daniel, I saw that scar, and I knew he was the man. You are quite naive. What are you doing? Nate? Okay, where are you? Okay, I I'm on my way. That was my father's assistant. He disappeared right after my dad's death, but he just said he has information for me. You're gonna go find him? I mean, you can't. It's okay. I have Liam, so I'll be okay. Daniel. Rodney's assistant just called Emma and told her he would tell her what happened that night, and now she's on her way to go find him.
I'm gonna go check it out first. Stay in the car. For show, why did you have to get hurt like that? Well, how are they gonna believe it if I'm not actually hurt? Also, didn't I tell you not to come into my room? She can't see anything. Besides, you're hurt. I have the right to check on you as her stepmother. Right, but she can hear. We have to be very careful at this critical moment. I don't care what you do after, but I want those shares from Emma. That was my father's assistant. He disappeared right after my dad's death, but... He just said he has information for me. You're gonna go find him? I mean, you can't... It's okay. I have Liam, so I'll be okay. Daniel, Rodney's assistant just called Emma and told her he would tell her what happened that night, and now she's on her way to go find him. What are you? It doesn't matter who we are. You think you can survive us? What are you doing? Your fiance owes us some money. He refuses to pay us back. So we've come for you. What does he owe you? I can pay. I can. Just tell me how much and I, I'll help. <coughs> Am I some kind of fool to you? Why would I let you call the police? What do you want? Know what I want. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Stop! 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 Stop!